ever pondered the intriguing question, what happens when the youngest child syndrome meets male narcissism? It's like a captivating dance of dynamics, where the allure of being the youngest child intertwines with the complex traits of narcissism. But before we step into this dance, let's understand who our partners are in this intricate tango. Narcissism, in simple terms, is an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, coupled with a lack of empathy for others. This is often veiled behind a mask of extreme confidence. But not all narcissists are created equal. And today, we're focusing on a specific subset, male narcissists who also happen to be the youngest child in their family. Now let's talk about the youngest child syndrome. It's a common belief that the youngest child often enjoys a privileged position within the family. They're seen as the baby, the one who needs protection. This special treatment can sometimes lead to a sense of entitlement and dependence. When these two dynamics collide, it creates a unique cocktail of behaviors that can be challenging to navigate, especially in relationships. The youngest male child who grows up to be a narcissist may demonstrate a heightened sense of entitlement, a strong desire for attention, and a knack for charismatic manipulation. Understanding this dynamic is crucial, especially for women who find themselves in relationships with these individuals. It's a dance that can leave you feeling off balance, questioning your own perceptions. The charisma, the charm, the seemingly unshakable confidence can be incredibly alluring. But beneath the surface, there's a complex interplay of behaviors and expectations that can be difficult to manage. This is why we're here, to explore this complex dynamic, to understand it, and to empower you with knowledge and strategies to navigate these waters. It's a journey of self-protection and resilience, of setting boundaries and fostering mutual respect. It's about empowering you to be your own advocate in relationships. Now that we have set the stage, Let's delve deeper into this intriguing dynamic. Let's step into the dance, understanding the rhythm, the steps, and the movements, so that we can navigate it with grace and strength. Being the youngest child can be a unique experience, but how might it influence the development of narcissistic traits? Let's delve into this. Youngest children often find themselves in a peculiar position within family dynamics. They're typically the last to mature, and as such, may receive an abundance of attention from parents and siblings. This attention, while well-intentioned, can sometimes foster a sense of entitlement and self-importance, leading to narcissistic tendencies. Parenting styles also play a crucial role. When parents overly indulge or protect their youngest child, it may inadvertently reinforce the notion that the world revolves around them. This can manifest as a narcissistic personality in adulthood, characterized by a preoccupation with self, a lack of empathy, and a constant need for admiration. Understanding these dynamics is key in recognizing narcissistic tendencies in youngest children. With this understanding, we can better navigate the challenges that may arise in relationships with such individuals. Ever wondered how charisma can become a manipulative tool in the hands of a narcissist? Well, let's delve into this. Youngest children, particularly those with male narcissistic tendencies, can often be quite charismatic. This charm can be captivating, drawing people into their sphere of influence. But herein lies a hidden danger. This charisma can be used as a tool for manipulation. Now what does this look like? It may be in the form of persuasive language or the ability to present themselves in a positive light, regardless of their actions. They may use their charm to deflect criticism, or to gain favor and control in their relationships. The key here is to be aware of the disparity between their charming facade and their actions. This charisma, while alluring, can often mask deeper issues of narcissism, creating a complex web of manipulation that can be difficult to untangle. Recognizing this manipulation is the first step towards safeguarding oneself. How can women establish and maintain healthy boundaries while dealing with a narcissistic male youngest child? This is a question that many find themselves grappling with. Let's delve into some strategies that can help in setting these crucial boundaries. Firstly, it's essential to understand what a boundary is. In its simplest form, a boundary is a line or a limit that you set to define where your personal space and needs begin and end. It's a way of communicating to others that you have self-respect, self-worth, and will not allow others to define you. Now, setting boundaries with a narcissistic male youngest child can be a challenging endeavor. 
their natural tendencies towards attention-seeking behavior and a sense of entitlement may make them resist these boundaries. But remember, it's not just about them, it's about your well-being too. So how do you go about setting these boundaries? Well, it starts with being clear about your needs and wants. You need to identify what is acceptable and what is not. For instance, you might decide that you are no longer willing to tolerate being talked over or ignored. Once you've identified these boundaries, it's time to communicate them. This should be done firmly, but with respect. But setting boundaries is only half the battle. The real challenge lies in enforcing them. This means standing your ground even when it feels uncomfortable. It may mean saying no, even when it might seem easier to give in. It's about consistently reinforcing your boundaries until they are respected. It's important to remember, however, that setting boundaries is not about controlling the other person's behavior. It's about taking control of your own life and making it clear that you will not be treated disrespectfully. Of course, this journey of setting boundaries isn't always easy. It requires courage, resilience, and a lot of self-love, but it's a journey worth taking because at the end of the day, your mental and emotional health matters. Remember, setting boundaries is not just about protecting oneself, but also about fostering healthier relationships. So take that step today. Stand up for yourself and your needs because you deserve respect and you deserve to be treated with kindness and dignity. How can empathy and self-reflection serve as powerful tools in dealing with youngest child male narcissists? As we journey along the winding path of understanding narcissists, especially youngest male children with narcissistic tendencies, we come across two powerful tools, empathy and self-reflection. These tools can help us navigate the turbulent waters of such relationships with grace and resilience. Empathy allows us to step into the shoes of the other person, to see the world from their perspective. It's like a bridge connecting two islands, fostering understanding and compassion. When dealing with a male narcissist who is the youngest child, empathy can help us understand the unique dynamics that have contributed to their behavior. It provides us the insight to see beyond the surface, to recognize that their actions might be born out of deep-seated insecurities and a desperate need for validation. Self-reflection, on the other hand, is a mirror we hold up to ourselves. It's a process of introspection, a journey inward that helps us understand our reactions and emotions better. When we engage in self-reflection, we can identify our triggers, our weak spots, and our strengths. We become more aware of our responses and can make conscious efforts to react differently, to choose healthier ways of dealing with the challenges posed by a narcissistic partner. Encouraging narcissists to engage in self-reflection can also be beneficial. It can help them recognize their patterns of behavior, their tendency to manipulate, and their lack of consideration for others' feelings. This self-awareness can be the first step towards change, towards healthier ways of relating to others. Likewise, fostering empathy in a narcissist can be transformative. It can help them understand the impact of their actions on others fostering a sense of responsibility and accountability. Remember, empathy and self-reflection are not just about surviving relationships with narcissists. They are about personal growth, about becoming more aware, more compassionate, and more resilient. They are about learning to navigate relationships with wisdom and grace, about building bridges and holding up mirrors, about understanding and compassion. Empathy and self-reflection are not just survival tools, but also pathways to personal growth and healthier relationships. How can we foster mutual respect in relationships with male narcissists who are the youngest child? This question leads us onto a path forward, a journey towards resilience and empowerment. To foster mutual respect, we must first understand the dynamics at play. Remember, a male narcissist who is the youngest child is often navigating a complex interplay of entitlement, indulgence, and perceived favoritism. Understanding these dynamics is the first step towards building a bridge of respect. Communication is key. Open, honest, and clear communication can often be challenging with individuals who exhibit narcissistic tendencies, but it is not impossible. It's crucial to express your feelings, needs, and boundaries assertively, without fear. This can help in breaking down walls and fostering a sense of mutual respect. Understanding is another pivotal factor. It's important to remember that behind the narcissistic behavior is a person with their own struggles, fears, and insecurities. Understanding doesn't mean condoning harmful behavior, 
but rather it provides a lens through which we can view their actions. This understanding can pave the way for mutual respect. The third pillar in fostering respect is setting boundaries. Establishing clear and healthy boundaries is an act of self-respect and self-protection. It communicates to the narcissist that while you are open to a respectful relationship, you will not tolerate behavior that undermines your dignity or well-being. Finally, patience is key. Change won't happen overnight. It's a journey that requires time, effort, and plenty of patience. It's important not to lose hope if progress seems slow. Remember, even small steps forward are signs of progress. In this journey, you are not alone. Reach out to support networks, friends, family, or professional help if needed. Remember, you have the right to feel safe, respected, and valued in all your relationships. With empathy, understanding, and respect, navigating relationships with youngest child male narcissists can become a journey of resilience and empowerment. Let's walk this path together, fostering a culture of respect, understanding, and empathy one step at a time.